As part of Be Quiet's 20 years anniversary, yay, again, Be Quiet released their newest FX lineup of products, composed of a pure bass 500FX, a pure lip 2FX, and this cute little pure rock 2 FX, which is also the subject of today's video. The main difference between the new FX Pure Rock 2 and the original deal, or, or no, the, the only difference between them is that the original one comes with a pure wing 120mm fan and the new one has a light wing 120mm high speed. That's it. Literally, that, that's really it. Now, I'm not saying that this doesn't make a huge positive impact on this cooler. And we will get to that in the benchmark section. I'm just saying that if you take off the fan, it's it's literally the same heatsink. 155mm height, 62mm long, 121mm wide, nothing has changed. It is still the same copper nickel plated base. It still has four copper black heat pipes that travel up that heatsink and end in the beautiful and iconic Be Quiet top plate. It's literally the same thing with a better fan. but. It is still a standalone product, so let's give it a proper review. On the compatibility side, we are looking at AM4 and AM5 for Team Red. And for Team Blue, we have LGA17, 1200, every 1150, 2066, and 2011-3. To get the cooler ready on an Intel CPU, we need to take the provided backplate and shove the screws through the appropriate holes outer ones for LGA 1700 and inner ones for everything else, and then secure them with the rubber washers on the other side. After positioning it behind the motherboard, we can screw down the double-sided nuts onto them, position the Intel mounting brackets with the ends facing to the CPU and screw them down. Over on AMD's side, it's a bit less. Remove the pre-installed retention brackets, position the spacers on top, followed by the brackets in an inwards leaning position and screw everything down. Now on both platforms, remove the protective covering on the base because there is thermal paste pre-applied there, which unfortunately was already removed before doing the B-roll, sorry for that. Slap it on top of your CPU and then you can finally start your endeavor full of pain, suffering and the urge for retaliation that comes in form of that central mounting bridge which I really hope disappears very soon. The Dark Rock TF2 has a good bridge. Use that one. And after you got that thing on there, nice and flush, screw it down on both sides. Now inside the box we will not only find the necessary mounting gear, but there will also be two fans of fan clips. One to get the included Lightwing 120mm high speed mounted onto the heatsink, which by the way doesn't protrude over any RAM slots, so 100% RAM compatibility here. The second fan clip can be used to mount a secondary fan to the back, making this thing a bit better. There is just one problem. Um, the fan doesn't exist. Don't get me wrong, I'm not hallucinating my way through this review. There is a 120mm light wing slapped onto this thing and it looks like any other beautiful light wing. But I almost missed it. It still has the beautiful ARGB ring around it. It still has those cut-ins in the back which are kind of useless when it's mounted on top of a heatsink. I mean, that's okay. They are there. There are also some slight changes which kind of makes sense. The PVM cable is now 220mm long and the 3-pin ARGB no longer has a daisy chain plug added to it. Which now what I'm saying is only making sense if you have a bunch of other light wings throughout the case and you use this one as the last one. Otherwise your chain is just finished, which is not good. Hmm. Uh, but that's not what I'm talking about. The fan is spinning at up to 2000 RPM. The original one, the Lightwing 120mm high speed as you would buy it, is spinning at 2500 RPM and that's a huge difference. Now I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. As far as I know, there is no Lightwing with this fan blade design other than the 2500 RPM version. This means that Be Quiet went out of their way to get a new motor which is not pushing more than 2000 RPM just for this one use case. And looking from a business perspective, Be Quiet didn't seem to have done that to save a buck. Developing and 
getting new stuff which you have not purchased before and make it a separate SKU isn't cutting costs. It's additional costs to maybe save some money down the line. So the only logical reason I can see is that the heatsink cannot handle more than 2000 RPM. And that makes a lot more sense. Let's assume that the original Pure Rock 2 was already at 90% of, let's say, heatsink potential capacity. The light wings can push that now to 100%. But once you are there, you are just adding noise. And I believe this is exactly what has happened here. I believe that Be Quiet was a good boy this time and they wanted to maximize the hell out of the pure rock and also give you a quiet experience. But the question still remains. Is the FX lineup better than the original one? Is it keeping the CPU cooler? Is it quieter? We will find out right now. While letting the fan spin at its 2000 RPM, the Pure Rock FX managed to keep the CPU at 54 degrees C above ambient. 54 degrees C, that's 6 degrees difference to the original one using the Pure Wings. That's an incredibly good result. More so because it threw this little cute puppy here into a completely different category of coolers. Now this thing is competing with things like an Arctic A35 or Be Quiet's own Dark Rock 4. It beat their Dark Rock Slim and it's just a degree shy of their bigger and much more premium Dark Rock Pro 4. An absolute bang of an update. But let's now get to the fun stuff, the noise to performance ratio. This is just a joke. The original Pure Rock 2 doesn't stand a chance. At full blast it starts off with a significant gap and once they are spinning slower to get the CPU to the same temperature, it's... no, it... It doesn't stand a chance, period. Throwing in a lot more different coolers doesn't make it any worse. The new and improved Pure Rock FX now completely destroys an Arctic A35. The Scythe Mugen is just a joke compared to it. And this little puppy even started to compete and, and almost succeed with keeping up with a Dark Rock 4. So yes, for the very first time, there is a Be Quiet air cooler that uses static pressure optimized fans instead of that decade old let the air whistle design that came with every previous cooler. And as it turns out, this was an amazing decision. This thing is not only a beast compared to the original one, it is freaking awesome on its own. Great noise to performance ratio and for a ridiculously thin single tower, single fan cooler, this thing is just, just nailed it on the benchmark list. Compatibility wise, very very good. 155mm height, no RAM restrictions whatsoever. Design-wise, thank you for using the black heatsink instead of the aluminum one. It looks exactly how I would have liked it to look like. So if it isn't obvious enough, absolute recommendation from our side. But more so, because I can get this thing right now for about 39 euros. And that's a, a damn good price for being in this spot. As it is still the anniversary period, I believe the prices may be a bit lower for some time now, so it can become a bit higher when it goes down, down the pipe at some point. But as long as it doesn't exceed something like a 55 euro price tag, it's still a very damn good bang for the buck. So far so good. The XF lineup seems to be a ridiculous beast. The IIO was already amazing, but the air cooler is... This was a surprise. Now the only thing that I'm waiting for is uh, this. Let's just hope that it finally happens. But okay, this should be it for the Pure Rock 2 FX. At this point, a huge thank you to Be Quiet for sending it over. And we cannot wait to start working on the Pure Base 500 FX case because I can see it. It's immediately behind the camera and it's waiting for me. But until this one comes out, have a look at our take on the FX AIO. On a side note, we also now have channel membership, so if you are looking for a good way to say your soul on RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get an army of lawyers and legally force be quiet to produce this, because I believe the world deserves it. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.